We are on the journey to transform our laundry room to both a functional and beautiful space. With brand new floors, walls, and a washer and dryer, the space is already looking so good. But in today's video, we will attempt to take it to the next level by giving this space an even more custom look. Hey guys, so we are at Lowe's and we are here to pick up all of the cabinets that we need to go within the laundry room. So earlier this morning, Marcus and I, we like made a little diagram, made an inventory catalog to figure out like everything that we would need from here. Okay, so this is the first one, 30 by 30. 30 by 30, yep, that's it. We need one of these, just one. So guys, these are the cabinets that go over the fridge and over the washer and dryer. Okay, you guys, so we're at a new Lowe's now because the last one we were at, they, we were just missing one cabinet. All right, you guys, Marcus found it. It's right here. This one retails for $169, and now it's so expensive. I'm gonna go ahead and get this one. It seems great. So, here we go. Before we bring the fridge in, which is what we're about to do right now, I just wanted to give you guys an overview of what the room looks like in here. So, pretty much a blank slate. I love that you guys love the floors. With the grout color and everything we picked, I feel like it looks really, really good. So I'm obsessed with them. But another thing, you guys, I'm like, I do not know if I want the cabinets to be green anymore. I know that's what I talked to you guys about in the last video, but with this room being so small, I feel like, I feel like the cabinet should be white. What do you guys think? I feel like the cabinet should be white. I'm actually gonna do an Instagram poll right now, white or green, and see. So if you're not following me on Instagram, please do. Um, I talked about it with Marcus, you know, he don't mind either way for real, for real. He gets what I'm saying though about doing it, doing it white because of this being such a small space, the green might make the room feel smaller. So I'm like, okay, well what if I just paint them white, we install them and we see how we like it. And if we feel like something's missing, then we can go in with color. So I think that's what we're gonna do. One door off. Okay, you guys, so this is what it looks like with the fridge out here. Of course, it's not like completely moved over and stuff like that, but I cannot. I'm like just so happy. So someone had commented like, why do we need a fridge? So really, it's just for extra things, like extra food. You know like how some people have a deep freezer? This is kind of like our thing because our fridge is so tiny, so extra veggies meat, marshmallows, food, cause she eats the farmer's dog right now, so all of that's in there. And then down here, we usually keep like a lot of wine and juices and so extra sauces and stuff like that. So we're actually gonna restock this whole fridge and organize it in the next video that you guys will see. For the, for the design, there's gonna be a cabinet over top of it, a cabinet right here, shelving, and then counters below. So I think it's gonna look really, really nice. 
So it wouldn't be one of my rental vlogs if we didn't go to Home Depot. So we're here now just picking up a lot of those essential items that we would be needing to get the laundry room makeover done. And I wanted to go ahead and share with you guys the plan for the rest of the laundry room. We're also gonna be adding cabinets, shelving, and countertops. And I wanted to do something really special for the cabinets and stuff like that. So what I asked Marcus to do was actually to build like a surround almost to make the cabinets look like they're built in. I thought that would be really, really cool. I'll pop up some inspo pictures of what we were trying to achieve and what we are like hoping is gonna like come out of all of this. You guys, we literally had to strap this to the top of the car. So as you guys can see, I ended up going with white instead of the green on the cabinets. This color is called Bit of Sugar by Bear and it's in the Scuff Defense type of paint. I'll have it linked down below just in case you're interested, but it's a really beautiful shade of white. Not too bright, not too warm. It's, it's absolutely perfect. And so I did end up asking you guys on Instagram which color I should choose from, either the green or the white, and you guys agreed with me over there on Instagram. So for all my YouTube subbies, let me know down below in the comments what you guys think. Did I make the right call going with white on these cabinets or do you think that they should be green? Currently, I'm still in love with them and I feel like I made the right decision, but y'all know me, I easily get bored with colors, so these might end up you know a different color someday remember last year i was gonna paint the cabinets blue and i'm so happy they're not blue right now even though i love blue but the white is just it's safe it's bright and it's going to be super duper beautiful i also want to mention that it took three coats of this paint for the cabinets to get a really opaque finish. And I also sanded in between each coat because for some reason, like these cabinets were kind of prickly. Like, I don't know what it was, but they needed a good sanding in between the coats and that just gave them like the professional finish. I'm also using a foam roller, which is recommended for cabinets and I'm cutting in with like a little Wooster brush. I love these so much because I feel like you can really like get into the cracks and it's not so long, it's easy to handle. So I have that link down below too. So now Marcus is beginning to work on those built-in cabinets for our laundry room. So he's creating one to go around our stackable washer and dryer and then another to go around our fridge. And just by creating these built-ins, it's gonna give the laundry room a more custom look, we think. So you guys let me know down in the comments what you think of like framing it out like this. But can we just talk about like how great Marcus's carpentry work has gotten? I should have known after Shed that like he would be able to tackle any Thing. He's always down to try like new things and I love that because I love trying new things too and so 
as he continues to work on his craftsmanship, he just gets better and better. So previously he was using this little tool that he got from Home Depot to help make tricky cuts, which I wish he would have had ages ago because it helped him out so much with cutting around the baseboard. And as you can see, it was absolutely perfect. I'm obsessed. And now he's beginning to do the same exact thing, except this time for the washer and dryer side. Hey y'all, so I got a few packages from Amazon and I wanna show you guys what came in because a lot of it has to do with like the little fine details, the aesthetic that's gonna make the whole room come together. So I think I mentioned before that like along with the white or even when we were gonna do the cabinets green, I wanted to do brass accents. So we have some things here to choose from and look at. So let me show you guys some of the different knob options that I bought for the bottom cabinets. Here is the first pack. This was like the first thing that I had bought on Amazon, but then I was like, mm, I don't know if I want to do the hexagon shape because we don't have anything in the house that, I'm sorry, this is octagon. <laughs> we don't have anything in the house that has like these, the shape in it. So I was like, I don't know if I want to do that. We already have the herringbone pattern going on in there. Like, is this too much? So then after buying this, I went ahead and bought these which are way simpler and they're really pretty, just round knobs, but what I thought was super unique about them was this back part. I love that so much, like how it has that black back there, it makes it look worn and like super duper cool. So I still don't know which one we're gonna use. I asked you guys on Instagram, so if you're not following me over there, please do. Right now, this tile, I'm sorry, this knob is winning. So. Yeah, so that's where we're going in the direction of knobs. Okay, so then next, I bought some poles before the upper cabinets. And of course, I got them in this really pretty brassy color. But then when they came, I was like, these look way too small. I don't know if you guys can see like the size difference. Well, you can. You can see the size difference between the two, right? So I was like, these look so miniature and they're already pretty like thin. So I went ahead and I got them in a bigger size and I think this one is going to be absolutely perfect. And both of them match with the knobs, like the same exact brassy tone. So here is the size comparison now. You can see that they are like the same length. So I love them so much. You guys, I will have these linked down below. They are a really, really beautiful, like heavy duty quality pull for your cabinets. So then next, I also had to buy like some shelf brackets. So I looked at Amazon again and I found these, which are super cool. Let me show you guys. Look how neat. I like love the shape of this. It's so unique, but the color is off. So I only the only reason I got it in this color is because the brassy tone would not be coming for weeks and weeks and weeks and we need it like pretty soon. So I'm gonna have to spray paint these. But then once we like played around with these in the room, I felt like they were too huge. Like they're absolutely massive, the size of these things. Like they're bigger than the ones over there. So I went ahead and I ordered these in a smaller size. Um, and again, those aren't in the right color either. I have to spray paint those too. But they should be coming a little bit later today, but they're really heavy duty. Like I think the shelves are gonna look really good on here. So brass shelf bracket and then a white um, shelf on top. That's the vibe. In this big package right here, we have the light. Y'all, this thing is absolutely humongous. Like I want, I searched for a large light, but I didn't think it would be this large, y'all. So as you can see, it's brass right here all along the rim. 
And then the glass is actually frosted. The glass right here, it's frosted. So it fits four bulbs in it. So the room is gonna be really, really bright, which is great. And then it has some more pieces in here. These are all the other pieces that come with it. what this light will end up looking like once it's all said and done and this light was like around a hundred dollars i feel like it was such a good deal especially for the size of this if you're looking for any of these things or you want to purchase some of them i'll have everything that we're using this whole entire makeover linked down below So now Marcus is back to working on the built-ins within the laundry room. So we're trying to go for that custom look without the custom price tag. So you guys saw we bought, we bought these cabinets from Lowe's. They weren't custom at all. They come in several different sizes and you kind of just have to pick what works for you and your space. Um, but with that being said, there would be some gaps. So Marcus is adding on extra support pieces and just a little bit more wood so we wouldn't have any gaps and really create that custom look and like that tight fitted look that we're going for. And while Marcus was working on that, I began to prep this window in the laundry room for paint. We weren't gonna leave it this color and I end up just painting it white later on in this video, but there were a lot of areas that need to be caulked so we could have a way crisper finish. What I miss, cause my life is dismissed. I keep searching for my bliss. It took days to finally start writing songs. y'all so marcus got like the first piece up there and that is just like a support piece for the frame i'm sorry a support piece for the cabinets so now we're going to bring the first cabinet in over here see what it looks like i keep pushing myself now before i know guys so last night as you guys saw we were trying to get the cabinets up the two that go over like our main appliances so that's what that's looking like right now Marcus is gonna finish like building and framing that out I'm about to go ahead and like clean this window off but also paint the trim and stuff you guys saw I coughed it last night because like the there's just some gaps and stuff I want everything to look really crisp on Instagram, I asked you guys what I should do about this door, and a lot of you guys said that I should stain it. So, which we're on the same page totally with that because I think it'll be really cute instead of doing it white, how I was originally planning. So we got to do that. Oh, I have I bought spray paint, so we got to spray paint those shelf brackets. They did come in in the smaller size. Let me show you guys real quick. Here is the medium size, and here's the one that I showed you guys yesterday, the large. So thinking that these are gonna work out a whole lot better. So I just have to spray paint these. And then after that, there's a whole bunch more that needs to be done. So come along and let's get to work.
So while the mask and peel was drying on the windows, I went ahead and started to work on the door that you guys know we decided to stain. Um, but real quick, if you have never used the mask and peel, I definitely would recommend it, especially if you're painting window panes because it's such a small surface area. Doing like all that painter's tape would take literally forever. So the mask and peel is just an easy way. You just paint it on a really thick layer, I'd recommend. And then you... Um, um, put your regular paint on and then you peel it off when you're all done and it leaves really crisp and beautiful lines so you guys will see that later on but this is probably like my second or third time using it and still zero complaints so over here on the door we are using um, this min wax stain in a natural finish natural is my all-time favorite stain color and I really like how like this stain it brought out the like really nice and warm undertones of the wood so it's really tying into the room really nicely so I'm happy we went with the stain instead of the white option but you guys let me know what you think down below in the comments so goodbye. Instead of painting that wooden built-in around the fridge white, we decided to go ahead and wrap it with the same beadboard that we used on the walls just to create that cohesive look. So that's what Marcus is doing right now. He's going to have to adhere it with some wood glue and then place some clamps down so it'll be a nice and tight fit. By this point, the mask and peel was completely dried. As you guys can see, it dries clear. And so I'm going ahead and painting the windowsill and the window frame in the same color I did as the cabinet. So that color is called Bit of Sugar and this is also a semi-gloss finish. Okay y'all, so 
as y'all saw we just like are in the process of putting the cabinets in and stuff but because of like the quarter round i guess and this trim it's not fitting properly it's so, like this one specifically so marcus thinks we're gonna have to cut into this quarter round to get it to fit more flush because like it's sitting up on this part and i don't know if that is the problem is it this side the problem or the actual back so this is kind of what it'll look like you guys another thing that's bothering me a little bit is that i thought there'd be more room for floating shelves over here you guys know those brackets i spray painted earlier um and this is a, such a small amount of room to have floating shelves so I don't know how we're going to combat that because I think it'll be a little awkward or it could be cute. I don't know. I just have to see it. But they, I feel like now they would literally have to stop here, which we weren't planning, but that may have to be what happens. It may have to be the width of this cabinet just so it'll make sense and not be sunken in. That's the only way we can make it work. It's almost there, almost there. Okay y'all, so by cutting out the baseboard, Marcus was able to get the cabinet down and flush, which is really exciting. I'm really happy about that. So actually not even the baseboard, but this quarter round is what we cut out. So um, you guys saw that in the most, in the last clip. So yeah, now it's this just a little sliver right there. And I'm thinking maybe we could put the quarter round back in that little sliver just to, Cover it up. Okay, something's wrong with this quarter round. It's like kick something. Maybe not this, but something to go here in this space so there's absolutely no gap and it looks as seamless as possible. So using something like this could be an option. And OMG, I love the way this looks. It's gonna look so great with the countertops. But you guys, I think we are gonna pause the video right here and pick up in our next episode completing all of our other projects we're still gonna do the countertops put in the new light put in the framing and like the whole built-in situation over here by the washer and dryer and then we need to like decorate and add the accessories and put up the shelves you guys please leave me comments for what you think we should do about the shelf space right here because it is so tiny like should i just go ahead and put something here or should i like do an l i thought about that would an l look weird i just i just don't know i don't know so hmm decisions decisions and we also have this wall to play with like should i just put the shelves here instead anyways thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye guys